Thomas with the Bonsai Park. Thank you. As you can see, I've already prepared this with screening over the holes. Got some tie wire in there. And of course, um, under normal circumstances, you do not use a glazed pot with a juniper. There's no flowers, so the pot should not be prettier than the plant. But it's a basic color. There's nothing radically beautiful about this, so I'm opting to use it. Okay? So, let's see. I've got this much pot, this much roots, so we can cut the root system in half. Okay? Get the saw out. Tools out of the way. That's why we have this work container here. Move it to the side. And I'm going to say about half of that is going to be Nope. Cut in this way. Easier than the, sh the saw breaking it up, right? There's more than one way of skinning this cat. And this seems to be the better way of doing it. It's not as full slow down growth because of the fact that uh, we had removed 90% of the top if you see the previous videos, you'll see what I mean. Okay, our bonsai is starting to look good. I do have good soil here. It's growing in the soil. Might as well use it. I do have the roots that have taken off. And we have some really nice new root system. You can see the color in the root system. And it would be a good idea to take some of this off because it's the new roots that help the plant develop the mycorrhiza, the beneficial fungus that uh, helps the root system just thrive. Alrighty, now let's get the pot up here. I'm going to put some soil in to the bottom. Clean this up a little bit. Oops, there's a big root. We don't need this one. Take that one off. It has to fit into this part. Okay, I'm going to put it on this end, one third, not in the middle. The middle is reserved for the deity. Put it on this side because it spreads across there wire, twist that wire, tie this baby in, it ain't going anywhere. that I took off. I should have put them down first. I could put them on underneath so that that mycorrhiza can start working, help the plant develop. This root is a pain. This one is coming up. soil and make sure that all of the air pockets are blocked off. You do not want any air pockets in here.
afraid to press down and get your soil in there snugly. Get rid of those air pockets. Right, now, there's our plant and a bonsai pot. Now, let's see what our branching is going to do. This is the number one branch. This point, right here, number two branch. Moving with the trunk to this point, back branch, give us our depth perception there, and apex coming up, a little bit of movement, having it bow towards us, showing us respect, and also line it up. This is an informal upright, so you want the top lined up with the soil, with the trunk where it comes out of the soil. Okay, And with it on this side, you've got some good balance with, with the pot. Okay, What I will do is I'll do some, uh, some detailed branching. We can still detail some of these. Uh, uh, hand pinch so that uh, it can start filling in properly and we hand pinch it instead of uh, using shears on juniper because it browns out uh, where if you hand pinch it you eliminate the browning process on the on the new growth okay and uh, this this particular plant uh, what I'm going to do with it is uh, fill up a container of, of water, put some Super Thrive into it, and just soak it, drop it right into there so that the water doesn't overflow and upset the soil line, and let it suck up the moisture, leave it in there for about 20 minutes to half an hour with Super Thrive coming through and uh, nurturing the root system, and then we'll put it in a semi-shaded area for the next two to three weeks, we don't want sun to burn it, let the roots establish itself, and after those two, three weeks, we can then fertilize it and give it semi-sun, not 100% of the time, for another couple of weeks, and then we can position it wherever we want to, in a sunny area, shade, semi-shade area, whatever it takes. Okay? We have any questions? If you see this again, okay, that's not too bad. The shape is not bad at all, yeah, and it will develop as we progress. But as you can see, there's a cutting, uh, a plant that we took, we cut it, we kept the trunk, maybe one branch and maybe a couple of small ones. You take a look at the um, the the video. It's about a year ago, Jenny. I think it was, um, if I remember, May one. 2014. Check back. Take a look. See what we did. And then this is stage two. And what we will do is we'll continue with stage two with a couple of the other ones so they can basically see the differences in the styling that we're creating and the gorgeous bonsai that you're making with a good solid trunk already and a, uh, a bunjing that would be 12, 14 inches and just full. In two, three years, you're going to have yourself an awesome collect part of your collection. Thank you for being with me. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Have a great day. YouTube and Facebook. Don't forget us. Do take care. Goodbye now.